Hey everybody, it's Matt from This and That with Matt. Hopefully everybody's having a great new year and a great holiday season. Uh, today's video is going to be slightly different. I'm going to do a re product review. This is the Venture Pale 35 liter day pack. And I'm also going to go over what you should be carrying at a minimum if you're doing a mile, two miles, or five miles on a day hike on the trail. So stick with me and we're going to go through all of this stuff. So first of all, what I'm going to do is we're going to review the Venture Pail. So this is a bag uh, we purchased off of Amazon for, I don't know, right around $22. I uh, wanted something quick, wanted something light that we can use um, for a day hike or something like that. Um, Stacy and I do a lot of backpacking, we do a lot of hiking. Uh, we're members of the Western New York Winter Hiking Challenge. So we get to do uh, anywhere between 8 and 16 trails between now and March. So we figured, hey, we need a new pack to try out to take with us on the trails. So I'm going to review this for you. And then we're going to break into the 10 essentials. So first of all, you can see the pack is nice. It comes literally, it zips in itself. It's not YKK zippers, but they are nice zippers. Um, on the outside, it's got a nice little mesh pouch there. And it has a mesh, mesh opening there. So the pack actually opens into itself. So you just take the zippers down the side like this and open her up, shake her out, and I'm gonna close this up to show you. So this is the bottom. This folds up like that. And there's your day pack. So it's a nice day pack. It's 35 liters. It's made of a heavy duty nylon. It's got uh, an outside zipper here that I can show you. This outside zipper is here. It also has a pocket here. It has a, a zipper pocket there as well. A couple reflective stripes on it in case you're uh, walking during the nighttime. Has a large pocket up there for your stuff and then the main compartment zips open and you got a nice it's hard to see I know but we'll fill it up it's got a nice large compartment here and it also has like a little sleeve there um, it's very lightweight very durable um, it also has two outside mesh pockets for water bottles, comfort seats, whatever. Has compression straps on the side to lock the stuff in there. Um, and then last but not least, it has a small emergency whistle on the breast. I know that's going to be loud, but it's, um, you know, just a uh, part of safety. So overall impressions, uh, Stacy and I have taken these bags out a couple of times. Uh, we've taken these out, um, yeah, for a few of our hikes now. They hold all of our gear. Um, it works out really well. It's uh, it's a very organized backpack. It's a very uh, it's a very ergonomic backpack. It feels good on the, on the body. Uh, the shoulder pads, uh, the shoulder straps have a little bit of padding in there. Um, you have a couple uh, clip here, and then you have the tighteners here, so you can really kind of lock down the shoulders when you're wearing them. The second reason we bought these was because um, it's winter season and a lot of people try to backpack and a lot of people do a lot of day hikes. They want to enjoy the weather. They want to enjoy, you know, nature and all that stuff. Um, it is January. We are in Western New York. Some of our areas have were dumped up uh, 18 to 20 inches of snow. Uh, everybody heard of what happened on I-95 in uh, Virginia. Um, roads were closed for, you know, upwards of, you know, people were stranded in their cars for upwards of 20 hours. Um, unfortunately, some of those people don't have a mentality or a mindset to carry or be prepared. Now, in saying that, this is not a survival video. This is not a bushcraft video. This is not a, we're gonna go out into the woods with 10 items and live for two days video. This video, not only was the review on the pack, 
but it's also going to go over the 10 essentials that you should carry if you're doing a day hike, whether it's a mile, two miles, or five miles, whether you're doing it in the summer, the winter, the spring, or the fall. These are good habits to get into. It's a good bag to have. And <clears throat> as a second notion uh, with the weather we currently have, if you happen to have this bag packed for a hike and you throw it in your car and you're taking a road trip, now you have a small, I'm gonna say comfort emergency kit in your car that can help keep you warm, help keep you safe, uh, help keep your mental, you know, your mental, your mindset in a good place. And um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set the bag aside. I'm gonna start and go through the 10 essentials and then I'm gonna load them into the bag as we go. So I'm gonna start off here in a second and all of our essentials are gonna essentially, got the joke there, gonna fit in our 35 liter day pack. And we're back. So I have some notes with me so I don't forget. So I'm not gonna do these in order. Um, these are on a website. I will uh, post the link to the 10 essentials of day packing or backpacking um, in the description of the video. I'm gonna start with some of the larger items so I can fill the bag and show you how I pack it for the trip. So one of the items are carrying an emergency shelter. So what would be perfect for this is some sort of tarp. Um, I like the reflective tarp with the orange on the inside. It's got grommets on the side. Uh, easy to set up, easy to tie down. So my emergency shelter consists of a tarp, an emergency life bivy that I can get inside and, and keep warm, and a whole bunch of paracord. So what I'm gonna do here is to show you the usefulness of this pack. This pack has that, it's got that nice uh, sleeve in the back. So I just put my tarp right in there, and then I put my bivy in there, and I put that in there. Now, this is a, this is a, a thermarest, it's a Z-seat. Um, I throw this in here as well. If you want to take a break and you want to sit down, it uh, keeps your butt off the snow. It uh, can keep your knees off the snow if you're going to have to build a fire. Uh, keeps you dry, keeps you comfortable. So this one I'm going to put in, but I normally put that in the side. So one of the 10 essentials besides shelter is a small first aid kit. Now, it doesn't need to be extravagant. It doesn't need to be all-inclusive. has to have a couple band-aids for boo-boos and maybe some ibuprofen and uh, some stuff like that. So this, I like to put in the front pouch, you know, right in there, just because it's going to fit nice. Going along with first aid, this is kind of like first aid plus one. It's winter time. So I like to use a couple of chemical hand warmers. These come in handy. No pun intended. Actually, the pun was intended. They come in handy. They're hand warmers. I like to put those in there. The all-encompassing hand sanitizer. I like to have this. And I like to use a couple, just, just some antibacterial wet wipes. So I put all of those in the front zipper pouch here. And this I put on a little carabiner. So. I can hook it on the back of the pouch and it's right there. That's kind of my first aid component plus a little. The next item I'm going to do is going to be illumination. This is pretty easy. Uh, headlamp or flashlight. I like a headlamp. It's easy to use obviously. I'm not going to put it on. And spare batteries. So something to uh, be able to see the trail with at night. It is winter time again. It is getting dark at 4:30, and if you're in the if you're in the brush, I mean, you're talking, you know, by four o'clock, it's getting hard to some sometimes hard to see your hand in front of your face. So this is what I use: a headlamp, and I use some extra batteries as my illumination. So for this, I'm going to open up this top pouch, and I'm just going to throw that one in there. Next, we're going to do sun protection. So, sun protection. Uh, can be bright out there in the winter time. You get reflections off the snow. I have my baseball cap on. Kind of keeps the sun off my face. I also have some cool shades here. And I also have some, uh, you know, lip balm. So, baseball hat. 
sunglasses, lip balm, great sun protection while you're out in the woods. And that, these are going to go on my face, so these I'm going to put right up here for the rest of the video because I'm going to look cool. And this I'm going to put with the first aid stuff. These are pretty cool, so I think I'll kind of wear them like that. Kind of adds to the mystique of the video. So I'm going to put this with my first aid items. You can also carry sunscreen with you. I just don't have any, but sunscreen, um, sunscreen's another good thing. Next, uh, we're going to talk about tools and repair. So tools and repair, um, pretty simple. Carrying around an easy, a nice multi-tool. Something with pliers. Um, the reason I choose a multi-tool over a knife is because it has, it's, it has the pliers on that and I can use the pliers to either A, fix the axe tracks if the springs bend or something like that depending on if I'm walking on some icy, icy trails like that or uh, they're great for fixing snowshoes. Um, a lot of wire, a lot of metal parts on here. The pliers are great for fixing that. And duct tape. Um, I like to carry duct tape. I like to carry duct tape tied to my lighter. That way I always have it. So now that we did this, I'm going to go right into fire. So I have my lighter. We need some sort of way to start fire. I also have some emergency matches with some tinder on the inside. Oop, and the tinder just fell. So we're gonna grab and put that back. Um, you don't have to have these. A book of matches in your pocket is a good idea. Also, because it's winter time, and if I need to start a fire, I like to start it, I like to take some, uh, you know, some something, uh, some accelerant. Um, so these are great. These are the mini, mini Inferno from Pathfinder. They're the, uh, you know, the, the chemically indu uh, infused uh, fire starters. These work really good. well. These can uh, get your tinder dry, get a little fire going, start getting that warmth. Again, this is not a survival video. This is not a bushcraft video. These are just some ideas. God forbid you're ever in any of those situations. I like to put these in these little bags here. And this just goes right in the bag this I'm gonna put right up top and I'm gonna kind of zip this closed it's hard to do everything backwards so the next item we're gonna talk about is food so I have a little bag of food here. now in this I will have you know, like a high density, high a high density, high calorie carbohydrate bar. You know, some protein, or keep it MRE related, an apple, cinnamon. You know, uh, first strike energy bar. I also like to, uh, you know, I like I will I will classify this under food. I like to bring, uh, you know, some coffee. We got some uh, coffee uh, instant two there like to bring some tea here, you know, and a couple of soups. Um, these items are not necessary. However, it is comfort. It does make you feel better. It does put you in a better mindset. And it puts a little bit of stuff in your belly. So a little bit of food, um, a little bit of tea, a little bit of soup, something like that is always good to have. So that's great. So that just goes right in the bottom of the bag here. The next item I'm going to talk about is water. The one thing I will tell you not to do if you're going to winter hike and you're going to do water, um, these Sawyer filters are great. Um, however, uh, taking them out in uh, freezing temperatures um, can ruin these and it's just not worth the trouble. So if, if you have one of these, I would leave these for your regular, you know, your regular uh, backpacking trips, you know, during the spring or summer where you're not going to have the freezing uh, freezing temperatures, uh, but you're going to filter water. So these are great, just not for this application. For this application, I chose, I've got a Pathfinder set, you know, just a cup, boil, I can carry water, boil water, uh, Pathfinder, the Pathfinder, holy mackerel, I'm drawing a blank here, Pathfinder bottle, and I use just some uh, God forbid I'm out there long enough where I have to purify water, I have some Aquamira tabs. So these 
I literally will just set in there to start, close that sucker up, and I take these and I put this right in the side pouch. So as you can see, it's nice right in there on that. And while I have that side pouch open, I'll show you this. This is more of a, this is like, you know, I went over this as part of your shelter, your comfort. I just put this on the other side of the pouch, other side of the bag rather, and the other pouch just to uh, kind of keep a little comfort going and a little bit of a equilibrium in there. So bag's getting nice and full there. The next item I'm going to go over is navigation. Now I don't have any current land maps on me. They're all downstairs in the file cabinet for this video, but I do have a compass. You should always have a compass on you. This is a lens static compass. It does not need to be this. Uh, it, it just needs to basically point north, south, east, west so you can get a bearing so at least you can look at a trail map. You can find your direction to your car or, or, or utilize this tool to help you navigate your way out of the woods. I say carry a compass because we all carry cell phones and we all rely on cell phones and we put everything on cell phones. Well, if your cell phone dies and you don't have a map, you're kind of out of luck. And going back to illumination, we all use our cell phones for the flashlights. If your cell phone dies, you don't have a flashlight. That's why I like to keep this fully charged. I like to use this for emergencies. But in actuality, you want to use a compass. I'm going through my list here and let me see I have navigation check, illumination check, sun protection check, first aid, yep, fire, got that, repair and tools, yeah we nailed that, nutrition, we got some good stuff there, hydration, shelter. The last item is insulation or clothing. This one might be the most important depending on the time of year you're hiking. Um, in the most basic sense, it's an extra layer uh, to what you currently have on. Um, so I'm going to bring some stuff over here and we'll kind of go through what I use. So first of all, I have a pair of really nice uh, glove mittens. Mittens are great, especially if your hands get cold. You can, uh, the mittens will always keep you a little bit warmer. Throw a hand warmer in there, you're great. I'm gonna throw that in the bag right there. I carry an extra pair of socks. These are wool socks. Um, they will keep my feet wet, they will keep my feet wet, oh, warm, take two. They will keep my feet warm even if they get slightly wet because it is a wool sock, it's not synthetic. I, I it's, yeah. So I'm going to do that again because I totally messed it up. Take three. These are wool socks. I use those because even if your feet get wet, they will keep you warm. And they are not like cotton. They don't just absorb moisture and, and, and hold the moisture. So I always carry a good pair of wool socks with me. Okay. I carry a buff. This is a buff buff. This can be put around your neck, you know, used over your head, uh, kind of like a balaclava, if I said that correctly. Uh, great item, keep you warm, keep your face warm, keep your neck warm, keep your hat warm. I often will, um, I often will tie that in with a hat or a beanie. Um, yes, this is a Boston beanie. No, this is not a New England Patriots beanie. This is a beanie from when Stacy and I went to Salem for Halloween, and it's nice, and it works, and I'm still a Buffalo Bills fan, and that's all I'm going to say about that. We're going to stuff that in there. Um, this, is a, this is a synthetic wool blend, just kind of a long sleeve shirt. That's just an extra layer I can throw on under what I currently have. And then last but not least, um, I bring a rain poncho with me. Um, again, not a survival video, not a bushcraft video, not a let's get lost in the woods video. It's a, it's a military grade poncho. Um, I use it as such. 
if I had to use it as a ground skirt under my tarp, I could use it. If I needed to put another side on my tarp, obviously I could use it. But for these purposes, I use it to keep the rain and snow off of me. So then what I have is a fully encompassed day pack that I can take with me in the woods and feel safe about walking anywhere. I also can throw this in the back seat of my car and I have a fully functional comfort kit to keep me safe in my car in case I have any, uh, any emergencies if I get stranded by the side of the road. That being said, if you are planning to use this in your car versus day packing, you will need to add water to this because chances are if you're in the car on the interstate, you're not going to be going to a gully or going to a ditch or melting snow or anything like that. So what I would suggest you do there is grab, you know, four bottles of water, throw them in your car. Should also have a nice blanket, any extra blanket. We all have extra blankets at the house. Throw an extra blanket in the back of the car. Make sure you have your jumper cables and all that good stuff. This is not a car safety video. It's a common sense video. The last thing I'm going to say about that is if you are hiking in the woods and it is winter time and you have your Pathfinder, you know, you have your smart water bottle or whatever, you have whatever you want to use with you to, 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 to carry your water and thing in, in the in, in the trail or in the woods. And you notice it's getting late and you notice um, you might not make it back before, you know, you might not make it back to your car. Um, in the summertime, it's not really a big deal. Uh, you can pretty much drink your water. Um, you can make cold coffee and everything like that, and you'll be fine. In the event you find yourself out in the wilderness or the woods or the trail on a winter's day, and you want to, you want, you want to take the, you know, you want to take the, um, take with you an ability to boil or the ability to um, heat water. I would suggest like a small kit. Um, again, this is this is what I use backpacking. This does not normally go in this kit. I'm just showing this as an option. Um, this is a small, it's a small titanium pot. I've got a uh, I have a small rag in there, small four ounce uh, canister of isobutane. Throw that in there. Small backpacking stove. You know that can go in there. Another lighter, you can never have too many of those. And a top, this mesh bag can go here. So if you wanted to, you could take that and add that to this kit. That way at least you know if you were walking around and, and, and had the need to, or even, you know, took a five mile hike and wanted to break halfway through for coffee. You can take this, set up your little stove, boil some water, Make yourself some tea, make yourself some soup, have an energy bar or something like that, and, and enjoy your day. Um, but again, you know, just wanted to kind of go over my review of the Venture Pail, you know, 35 liter. Um, it's a pretty nice bag, fit everything I need in there quite well. Went over the 10 essentials that you should have with you at a minimum. And again, this is a winter bag. I'll do another. Uh, I'll do another one of these during the summertime or late spring, early summer, uh, to show the differences of my pack. Not that you care, but uh, different equipment, different gear, um, all the same core items, but just different ways to deal with the ten essentials you need to do. And just wanted to take a moment to say thanks everybody for watching the channel. I hope everybody had a very awesome holiday season. I hope everybody had a great new year. I hope everybody stays safe and I hope 2020, yeah, 2020. I hope 2022 is a better year for you than 2021 was. Thank you for watching. If you're so inclined, please feel free to subscribe, hit that like button and hit the notification bell so that way if you have the app on your phone and I put a new video out, you'll get notified of that. But I just wanted to say thanks again for everybody and all the support. Well, this is Matt from This and That with Matt, and I will see you all later. Thanks, guys.